Today, we are gonna be going beyond the basics of safer sex with our high schoolers. Hi, I'm Nadine Thornhill, sexuality educator. Welcome back to my series, Safe Sex Ed, where I teach every sex education module from Ontario's 2015 health and phys ed curriculum. There is construction happening over our heads, so there's gonna be buzzing. Hope that's okay. Um, if you are new to the series, welcome. I'm really glad you're here. You can click uh, down below to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to learn more about the series, you can click on the I that will be above us. Today, we have a special guest. This is my friend and colleague, Reese. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. So um, yeah, you can tell the folks a little bit about you know who you are and what do you do. So I'm Dr. Reese Malone. I'm a sexuality educator and sex therapist based out of Winnipeg, and we went to school together. We did. The health and phys ed curriculum for grades 9 through 12 outline the following learning objective for grade 9. Describe the relative effectiveness of various methods of preventing unintended pregnancy and STI. I personally prefer using the term um, risk reduction or uh, reducing risk as opposed to prevent or prevention. So you'll be hearing me saying that a lot in the video. You have a really awesome, interesting activity uh, that you can use either, you know, as a safe sex um, lesson, you can use it to sort of kick off an entire safer sex unit you might you can use this actually in several of the high school grades so and it's an incredible activity to to help uh, with dialogue mm -hmm. and talking about um, um, safer sex as well as um, other other like topics such as body image such as consent such as gender such as gender roles so I think this is a really really great activity that I learned at a conference and I'm really glad to share it with with you and the viewers. All right, so we're getting a lot of bang for our buck today. The activity um, can be set up in many different ways. Uh, what's easiest is to find um, flip chart paper, or you can do it with post-it notes, or you could do, do it with just regular eight by 10 sheets of paper that, that could either be scattered on the floor or we could um, demonstrate on the wall. The purpose of the exercise is to expand the dialogue and conversation around uh, risk reduction and safer sex, okay. utilizing what um, people think they know about condoms. So what we see in like um, in uh, condom demonstrations is usually four steps. Mm -hmm. Take the condom, rip off the condom, put the condom on, take the condom off, throw it in the garbage. Right. But then what happens between that? What happens before the condom? What happens in terms of the dialogue between the individuals that are involved? Mm -hmm. What happens during? If someone is, um, doesn't have the experience, there's more to it than here's the condom, put on the condom, take off the condom. So this exercise really is about the dialogue as well as some of the other diverse topics that you could bring into um, uh, bring into the, the the discussion. Really, safer sex isn't just about you know use a condom or use a barrier. There right. there are so many components that go into being able to get to the point of using that barrier or practicing safer sex. Kick us off. Step one. Step one is to lay out the the steps that is outlined uh, in what we see in condom packages. One piece of paper would say, take out the condom. Mm -hmm. The next paper would say, tear the condom. Mm -hmm. The next piece of paper would say, roll the condom on. And then the last piece of paper would say, discard the condom. Okay. Ask your students, um, what happens before the condom? Things like the expiration date. Mm. Things like, is this something that you both want to do? Right. Things like um, who's responsible for mm -hmm. the condom. The more prompting questions you can ask or when students say something that's really, really important is to highlight that. So either if you're doing sticky notes on the wall, mm -hmm. that to create another sticky note and then post it on right beside the first sheet of paper or first post-it note. Okay. Or if it's a flip chart paper, just add. What you're going to notice with each, um, with each really kind of station. Right is a map that starts to be built. 
you're gonna see like this kind of this really really amazing um, um, number of different kind of dialogues to have and different even thoughts to have about even before taking out the condom throughout the entire sex ed curricula you can refer back to the original exercise and add to it as you go along. Oh, very cool. So we're really illustrating that all of these aspects of sexuality or sexual experience are connected. It's not just right. you need to know these specific steps of taking a condom out of a package and right. getting it on your body. There is a whole process of communication and consent and deciding you know, what you're going to do and what you're not going to do that right. informs you know how that process is going to go right what you'll notice how students are so incredibly smart is that they'll come up with these prompts and questions even such as before even rolling down the condom are we talking about a penis like exactly what happens if there's no penis involved or flesh penis maybe we're talking about like something else right and so they'll start to like identify like wait a second these four steps of take out the condom, you know, roll down the condom, discard the condom, there's more to it. I've probably learned more from talking to high school youth and hearing their insights than any other class that I've taken, right. with the exception of yours. <laughs> <laughs> After the exercise, mm -hmm. it's really important for teachers to process the exercise with their students. Okay. And so there's some key questions I think it's really important to ask after the exercise is complete. 10 minutes for general kind of discussion, oh. processing questions. Okay. Such as, what did you think about this activity? Mm -hmm. What did you learn from this activity? Were there any surprises? What other kind of conversations can you have with your friends if they're talking about sex? At home, you can have a similar conversation. You don't have to use the post-its and the cards, although you can if you have space and that's how your family rolls. But you know, you can even, you know, take out the insert from a condom package and say, you know, these are the steps. What is missing here? You know, what has to happen before? What has to happen in between these steps? Um, you know, in order for you to feel safe, in order for you to feel comfortable, in order for this situation to be consensual. Some families really encourage abstinence as a form of of safer sex or I guess avoiding STIs and pregnancy and so if you want to have a conversation around abstinence with your teens um, that's great and a few things you can bring up with them are not only you know why you feel abstinence is important or a valid choice but also you know encourage them to think about you know how they're going to practice abstinence because it's very difficult to sort of make that choice once um, and then just ignore your feelings. You know, even people who are abstinence experience sexual arousal, they experience sexual desire. So, you know, really talk to them and help them think about strategies they can use to navigate those, you know, either emotions or biological feelings um, while remaining abstinent. Also, I have a video on abstinence and you can check it out. Again, it will be in the description box and uh, there's a link above our heads. Some questions you can ask your teens if you want to go even deeper with this conversation. How do you think it would feel to talk to a partner about practicing safer sex? What would you do or say if your partner wanted to have sex but didn't mention safer sex? What would you do if you were both ready and excited to have sex and you found out that you didn't have what you needed to practice safer sex? How do you feel about telling a partner you have chosen to be abstinent? Check out your local public health or sexual health resource center. Uh, organizations like Planned Parenthood often rub, run websites with a lot of great comprehensive information about sexually transmitted infections and reducing the risk of unintended pregnancy. There are websites like the World Health Organization, Health Canada, um, the Centers for Disease Control. Uh, there's also a great Canadian website, sexnu.ca. They have information about all sorts of topics related to sexuality, including um, safer sex. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any? And also um, think about even like your women's centers, mm. your L local LGBTQ centers as well. 
also has some really great information. Oh yeah, and that information will be, you know, specific to, you know, if you hold one of those identities, that information will be more specific and more tailored to your needs. Thank you so much for being here. Where can folks find you and your work? Well, they could find me in Winnipeg or they can reach me at www reesmalone.com. So in the comments below, let me know what is something about safer sex you wished you had learned in high school but didn't. That's all for now. I hope you have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye. You can help me continue creating free sex ed content by supporting me on Patreon. For as little as $3 a month, you'll get access to all sorts of goodies, so head on over to patreon.com slash Nadine Thornhill or click the link down in the description below.